Hello, Arlington, and welcome to the Ed Burns Arena for today's matchup between the Arlington High School Spy Ponders and the visiting Winchester High School. This is the penultimate game for the Spy Ponders here at the Ed Burns Arena as we wind down the final days of the regular season. Spy Ponders are currently ranked sixth in the MIAA Power Ratings, facing off against yet another league opponent that's also ranked in the top 25, Winchester, who is ranked 17th. Today is February 20th, and the playoff schedule for the MIA hockey tournament will be released on the 26th. ACMI Sports will try to bring you whatever coverage we can of the playoff tournament, given if the Swap Ponders do play once more here at the Ed Burns Arena. Or if we're allowed to go on the road on a neutral site. Either way, we hope you enjoyed today's presentation brought to you by ACMI Sports. My name is Ani Mosmani, and I will be your announcer for today. On the ice, to start off the game is number 84, Drew Facto. Number 12, Brennan Hirsch. And on the faceoff was Jake Zdowski. Our goalie is Jake Davies. Also on the ice is number one, Ryan Martin. Correction, that was not number one. That is number 16, Jake, Jack Zadowski. And that's Zadowski going on the faceoff in the neutral zone. Wins that there. Whiffed by Arlington, still in possession. Spy Pond is trying to dump it into the, to the Winchester blue line. And dumped in by Winchester on the other side. And that's going to be an icing call. Quick line change for both teams already. We are 14 minutes. Correction, we have 14 minutes and 17 seconds left in the first period. Off to a quick start as these games usually are. And there's a decent sized crowd here at Ed Burns Arena here to watch two prominent hockey teams go at it. A good amount of Winchester fans here in the arena as well. As the bleachers to the right side of me are almost filled by Winchester fans. And to my left, the home crowd. Dangerous opportunity for the Spy Ponders there. Okay. That was a pass down the middle, unable to get a shot off. But that was a good setup by the Spy Ponders. Now here's Winchester. And we've got a whistle blown here by the referee. Shot gloved up by Davies. Wearing number 29. Over on the other side for Winchester, the goalie is James Kogan. Sadowski switches it to Flynn. Flynn jumps into the middle. Puck slips past Gore. Now Winchester pushing it up. Dumps it in behind the net. Gets a shot off. And got it in. That's a goal by Winchester. Jersey number is not in front of the jersey. So once I get a sneak at that, I'll give you a name. But that's going to make it 1-0 for Winchester. Early here in the first period, 12 minutes and 56 seconds left. Goal scorer is number 12, Christopher McCarthy. And I'm mistaken, that goal was waved off. The net was just simply dislodged, but that was, my, that was McCarthy with the shot. My bad, the celebration caught me off guard and confused. 0-0. Zero, zero. Here in the first period, 12 minutes and 42 seconds left in the first period. Another opportunity.
opportunity for Winchester and just couldn't get there. A lot of chaos right in front of Davies and the puck just gets loose. And the puck goes out of bound into the stands. There's going to be a face off in the neutral zone. And going back to that play earlier where I mistaken the goal. Winchester got, thought it went in, but the net was dislodged right before that. Therefore, it was waved off. Pressing off in the middle of the ice. That was Malatesta at the faceoff. Scrummage in front of the goalie. Desmond got caught up with a Winchester player. And the set screen. Now here's a breakaway opportunity. And Malatesta tries to get a shot off and sends it flying above the net into a net. Out of bounds, and they'll face off in the Winchester defensive zone. On the face off is O'Connor. Going up against to Costello of Winchester. Gore came out with the puck. Couldn't make something happen. Gets dispossessed. Puck around the nut. Winchester trying to clear it. That was a witch pass. Managed to get it off up ahead of the ice. Puck heading back to the back of the Arlington net. That's a little scuffle between Gilbert and a Winchester player. No call there, and the puck goes out of bounds. Winchester fans screaming for a holding penalty, but no whistle blown. We have 10 minutes and 57 seconds left in the first period. And now there's a face-off in the neutral zone. Sadowski going to be the face-off guy. Sadowski gets a shot off. And the net slips by. Number 33, Maxwell Lohenberg of Winchester. So I got the goalie wrong early in the game. But that's Maxwell Lohenberg who just got, who just let the puck slip right by them, by him. That was Sadowski with the shot. Defecto is going to get the assist on that. 1-0 Winchester. 10 minutes and 31 seconds left in the first period. And now on the faceoff is Malatesta. So Hirsch and Flynn gets credited with the assist on that goal by Molotesta. Excuse me, by Sadowski. Lorberg keeps it in play. Winchester trying to get to the other side. Here's number five for Winchester. Maxwell Tong. And got nothing there. Gilbert loses his stick. Arnton comes out with the puck. Very physical defense by the spy ponders. And now here's Eunice. Loses the puck behind the nut. Still fighting for it.
puck is still loose. And Spypot is really pushing up the pace. And Gore just gets bodied. Right in front of the Winchester bench. Comes off the ice, line change. Winchester gets a shot off, defended by Davies. Probably just flying around between players and Laura Berg just smacks that puck out of bounds. So we're going to face off in the our Winchester defensive zone. We have eight minutes and 26 seconds left in the period. And I'd like to give a shout out to our viewers for tuning in to today's broadcast. ACMI Sports is made possible through the contribution of both our volunteers and viewers just like you. Yes, you person watching this game so thank you for tuning in we hope you enjoy your our broadcast presentation and continue to watch our games pucks in play there right, is winchester on the breakaway defended Effective with it behind the back pass. And that was Sadowski who was on the breakaway, got dispossessed. <laughs> Dunning trying to fight for that puck behind the net, slips. That uh, was four. Gets a shot off. Defended. And Davies gonna cover up that puck. We have seven minutes and 20 seconds left in the first period. Arlington is holding on to a 1-0 lead. And while the temporary break in play, I'd like our viewers to know that the A-Town Film Festival is now accepting submissions up until April 1st. All communities are welcome to enter the contest. All it takes is a cell phone to produce a short film, and with that, you might just make it big at the A-Town Film Festival that's gonna be held in late May. For contest details and submission guidelines, visit our website, acmi.tv slash A-Town. Here's Sadowski, gets a shot off, left of the net. Desmond pushes it up, dumps it in. Goes around the rink. Collins for Winchester coming up, called for it. Skating behind the ice, dumps it in the middle. Turnover. Desmond dumps it in, gets an icing. Six minutes and 22 seconds left in the first period. And we have a face off on the Arlington defensive zone. The girls hockey team played yesterday against Wakefield Memorial, came out with a 6-2 victory yesterday as in February 19th. The girls hockey team is ranked second in the state in the MIAA power ratings and is most likely to be their tournament seeding as well. So both hockey programs in the top 10 going to make the tournament. And I believe the puck went out of bounds in that play as well, right into the scorer's boost. Throws it up and onto the ice for the referee. They're going to face off in the Arlington defensive zone. Six minutes and five seconds left in the first period. Well, a test on the face off. Well, Ball. 
a lot of speed by Arlington. Might have a little edge over the Winchester skaters here on the ice. That was Michael Cashel Winchester who almost got a shot off. But wide off the mark. Winchester resets. Mansfield on the ice. Winchester dumping it in behind the crease. Winchester with a shot into a crowd. And I believe that was Cole Dente of Winchester that, with that shot up the middle into a line of hockey players. And the puck just went out of bounds. So now we have Sadowski on the faceoff in the Arlington defensive zone. Four minutes and 52 seconds left in the first period. That was Hirsch harassing the Winchester player. Brought it in, sends it down the middle. No one there. Flint to Fecto. Fecto to Winchester. Flint keeping it in the Winchester zone. And that's going to be an icing on Winchester. Four minutes and 11 seconds here in the first period. And once again, this is the penultimate game for the Swipe Hunters here in the regular season. Their last game is going to be played in on Wednesday against Malden Catholic at 6 p.m. And that will cap off the regular season before we head into the tournament. Playoffs got to release on the 26th, so it's unclear at what point when the Swipe Hunters will have a home field advantage. Currently ranked sixth, two spots above Belmont who they face off twice against this season and unable to get a win either times. Should they meet in the tournament again would be truly an interesting matchup. But of course, first they're gonna have to get past this Winchester team. He's keeping the puck in the Arlington zone right now with three minutes and 41 seconds left in the first period. Davey feels that behind the net. Passes it off. And a good pass. As Dunning loses it. And the puck is kept in bounds. Play continues. Here's Desmond. Puts it up the middle. And that was Keelan, and that was right in front of the goalie. Good pass off the middle, and that was a golden opportunity for Arlington. Defended beautifully by Wollenberg. Net comes off, and we have three minutes and three seconds left here in the first period. And now on the faceoff will be Yunus. Puck gets dumped in. Winchester trying to get it in there. Wright getting tangled up in front of the Winchester bench. Puck still remains on the near side of the ice. And shot blocked by Davies. Puck still remains behind the net. And Arlington just got it out of there. Now up the ice is Gore. Flynn dumps it in. And there's going to be a quick line change for Arlington. Quick 
quick line change for Winchester as well. Fecto dumps it in. And Flynn takes a shot, throws it into the goalie. Gloved up by Lowenberg. Winchester has a total of four goalies on the roster compared to Arlington's single goalie, Jake Davies. Correction, there's two goalies on the Arlington roster, Ryan Martin being the other goalie. Arlington gets a shot off, bounces off the body of Lowenberg. Desmond dumps that back in. Behind the crease of Winchester. Iris Sadowski takes it up, switches the ice, no one was there. Another cross ice pass blocked by the body of a Winchester player. Winchester gets a shot off on the crease line blocked by Davies. Hirsch gets body from the back by Winchester, and that's going to be a penalty, I believe. And that was right. That's going to be a penalty on Liam Doherty. Going to be sent to the box with 58 seconds left in the first period. That's going to be a two-minute power play for the Spy Ponders. And they're going to face off in the Winchester defensive zone. That might have been a boarding call on... I believe that was... No, Tesla who got by from behind. And that's a cross-check call on Doherty. Shot blocked off the stick of number 21 of Winchester, Cole Dente. Arlington still finding a creating opportunity for themselves. Gets a shot off, blocked by the goalie. Now trying to exploit the zone once more. Here's Arlington setting up the offense. With the pass. Creep, creeping the baseline. Out to Dunning. Back to Dunning. And with Dunning with a shot, blocked by Lohenberg. And that's going to end the first period. When we come back, Arlington will come out with a one minute and two second power play opportunity. And currently holding on to a 1-0 lead. I'm going to Swanee, and we'll take a break and return for a second period action. So stay tuned in. Hello, Arlington, and welcome back to the Ed Burns Arena for second period action for your boys' varsity high school matchup between the Arlington High School Spy Ponders and the visiting Winchester High School. Arlington is entering the second period with a 1-0 lead and a power play opportunity after a cross-check call by Liam Doherty. We have one minute and two seconds left in that power play. And we'll start the second period with a face-off mid-ice. So yet another opportunity to extend the lead by two goals in this top 25 matchup between prestigious high school hockey programs. Arlington wins that face off, dumps it in. Factor working that crease line behind the net. 5-4 by the boards on the near side of the ice. Hirsch gets it out of there. Dunning with the shot up the middle. And out the beautiful screenplay. Shot scored by Michael Dunning on a screenplay by Fecto, who jumped up. And the puck was able to sneak past Lowenberg through the five hole. And the power play goal. And Arlington's going to take a 2 0 lead over Winchester High School. Four here at the 14 minute and 28 second mark. And that was a beautiful setup by the Arlington offense. 
Zagol is going to go for a line change. Malatesi is out there at the faceoff. The Spy opponents are currently ranked six in the MIA power rating for the upcoming tournament, in which the schedule will be released on the 26th of February. And now here's Winchester with some speed. That was. I believe that was Collins. Excuse me, that's, that was Mahoney on that fast break. Correction, that was Collins of Winchester. Chasing down the puck, couldn't get to it. Orange is sending it up to the middle. Intercepted by Cashel. Working the crease line. Hirsch unable to feel that puck. Puck still loose. And now his Fecto, who dumps it in. Shot up the middle by Sideropoulos. And now Hirsch with the shot. Covered up by Lowenberg. Fector was right on top of that as well. 12 minutes and 45 seconds left in the second period. And Arlington still has a 2-0 lead. Facing off right now in the Winchester defensive zone. Number 15, Kevin O'Connor with the faceoff. Now dumped in by DeLucia. Puck still loose. And the puck goes flying in the air and into the Winchester bench. Almost went up here in the Crows nest here at the Ed Burns Arena. Thankfully, it did not, because that would have hurt. Because that's where I am right now. 11 minutes and 58 seconds left in the second period. And there will be a face-off in the Winchester defensive zone. Mansfield on the face-off. 11 minutes and 58 seconds. I believe I had already said that, so I apologize for repeating myself. And it looks like the third line for Arlington is out there currently. Ben Negro to Brarden. Braun out there playing on the ice. Braun almost got a body on that, but that Winchester player just avoided a big hit. That would have hurt, coming from Shane Braun. Now here's the third line pushing up. Puck gets dumped in behind the Winchester net. And another line change for Arlington. Second line's out. Sideropoulos <laughs> with the puck. Back to Gilbert. That was Malatesta. 
Raising it up. He had my Elise streaking up the middle. But Winchester got a stick in that pass. Elise with the pass disruption. So the Robert is offside of the puck, and now here's Winchester. I'll shut off the middle by, by Maxwell Tong, covered up by Davies. Weak off the stick, and I just floated right into the glove of Davies. Now there's nine minutes and 50 seconds left in the second period. Arlington still holding on to a 2-0 lead. On the faceoff is, I was looking at the wrong roster, Sadowski. Sadowski to Hirsch. Hirsch to the middle. Fecto working the puck. Able to keep the puck behind the net. In front of the goalie, and Winchester was able to get that puck out of danger. But now here's Arlington with the setup. Shot by Sadowski. And I believe that's a delayed offside call. And nope, that's icing. So face off in the Winchester defensive zone. Nine minutes and four seconds left in the second period. On the face off is going to be Gore. Correction, that's not Gore, that's Sideropolis. Appears to be a penalty. That's going to be a penalty on right, probably for a cross check. And he's going to be sent to the box. Two minute power play for Winchester. Arnton on the penalty kill. Here with eight minutes and 52 seconds left in the second period. So we're going to line up, we're going to face off here in the Arlington defensive zone. Let's see if Winchester can capitalize on this power play opportunity. Ma Tessa on the faceoff against Bertocci. Winchester working the blue line. Takes a shot right off the stick of Cashel, blocked by Davies. And now Winchester going to work that blue line once more. Mahoney with the shot. And that was right, right. Another offensive setup here up for Winchester. 21 back to nine. Back to 21. This is a puck there. And Winchester's gonna reset. One minute and 20 seconds left in the penalty kill for Arlington. And Winchester with a hard reset. Now on the push. As I told you on the push. The miss pass. And cleared by Gilbert. Kept in play by the Winchester goalie. We have 54 seconds left in the penalty kill. And Napolitano fails to feel that puck. Hirsch working off against a Winchester player. He tries to shut him off his back. Winchester is able to get out to the baseline. Now setting up the offensive scheme for this power play opportunity. Here's five, working it up. The crease line cancels out of that, passes back out. Working the shots and gloved by Davies. 21 seconds left in the penalty kill, and we have seven minutes and 12 seconds left in the second period. Arlington is keeping that same line out there. And that's Brendan Hirsch on the faceoff.
still 2 0. Arlington leads. Winchester tries to work around the Davies. Puck gets waved off. No icing there. Five seconds left in the power play before number 10 comes off. And right goes right into the bench. Arlington back on full strength and is able to kill off the penalty. Sadowski gets back on there. I believe that might be a high sticking call on someone. I'll wait on the official call from the referee. We have six minutes and 34 seconds left. Well, not a penalty, but some sort of call that puts the puck in the Winchester defensive zone. No one gets sent to the box. Sadowski on the faceoff. Winchester with the clear. And that might be an icing call. Cashel right behind, trying to chase that puck down. This Wednesday here at the Ed Burns Arena will be senior night for the Arlington High School Fire Ponders as the cap off the regular season and the final home game against Mullen Catholic. Ceremony will take place before the start of the game, which is at 6 o'clock. Gore wasn't able to see that pass coming. Puck gets loose. Cashel tracing it down. And now he's already to try to get a breakaway starter, but off the skates of a Winchester player, now takes a shot off the stick of Dunning. 17 trying to set up a screen in front of Davies, fighting off Dunning. And that's going to be a nice and call on Winchester. So we get another face off in the Winchester defensive zone with five minutes and 30 seconds left in the second period. Uh, the winter season for Long Time Sports Likes is about to end. Spring sports registration is now open for any student athletes who wants to participate in the spring sport. And of course, AC My Sports will try to bring you coverage of all the home games as we possibly can. Given our manpower, AC My Sports are volunteer based productions. So if you'd like to get involved and help bring us this coverage, email us at sports at acmi.tv. Also, if you're looking for any volunteer opportunities, this is a great place to start. Puck being worked up in the Winchester zone. Dumped in by Flynn. Now Winchester going to set up their offense here. Ismail Testa slips, gets a pass off. Kicks it out to Flynn. Flynn to Sideropoulos. Sideropoulos with a shot. And a, a ball golden opportunity with, for a streaking Dunning. Or it might have been Malatesta with that streak. Back pad covering half of the jersey number, so I apologize if I don't get the names correct. Sideropoulos now kicks it out to Hirsch. Now here's Winchester with the opportunity. Gets knocked away. Shot by Cashel and gloved up by Davies. Four minutes and 14 seconds left in the second period. And Arlington still holding on to a 2-0 lead. Winchester still not backing away and no short of effort, that's for sure. These Winchester players are playing real hard against this very talented spy upon their team. That's what's also going to face off. Sadowski up to Hirsch. 
right to a Winchester player, streaking out the center, takes a shot. A backhander blocked by Davies. That was Doherty with the shot. Effecto slips. Puck waved off, no icing called there. Kept in play, three minutes and 20 seconds off to the second period. Winchester dumping it in. Pass too strong. Line change here for Winchester. Now here's Arlington streaking. Gore. His Fecto. Up to Hirsch. Puck right in front of the goal. He's trying to get gloved up by Winchester. Puck still loose and finally the whistle blows. Dangerous opportunity as hockey players started collapsing on top of each other as if it was a football play. But that puck was not loose, not covered up. Puck was still in play. Winchester trying to get it out. Arlington trying to get it in the goal. But finally, Puck gets Covered with the blows, and we're gonna face off. Two minutes and 50 seconds left in the second period. Players will play until the hockey blow, until the whistle blows. Still two nothing, with the lead. Now right on the face off. Here's Winchester streaking. Defended. And that might be an offside call, I believe. They will face off in the neutral zone. Two minutes and 32 seconds left. Seconds left here in the second period. And if you're a parent with a high school student as a kid who's interested in spring sports, make sure they fill out the registration form on the AHS athletics page. Registration, I believe, is now open for spring sports. Speaking of spring sports, I believe half as hockey team is on the baseball team. The baseball team that made it into the playoffs for the first time in a while last season. But once the hockey season ends, we'll, still, we'll see a lot of these players on the diamond. The Winchester player slips, got to pass off the middle. And that was another shot opportunity available, blocked by Davies. Malatesta pushing it up. Winchester defense races back, cuts off that opportunity. And that was Hirsch with the body on a Winchester player. Now here's Hirsch with the puck, loses it. And now here's a breakaway opportunity for Winchester. Shot by David Strong. Hirsch up the middle. Dumped it to Sadowski. Oh, and the puck bounces right off the right bar of the net. We're inside two minutes, actually approaching 60 seconds left in the second period. And now Arlington is setting up their offensive scheme. If they could get the puck, here's Winchester. Couldn't get a shot off. That was Maxwell Tong of Winchester. Now Sadowski is holding on to the puck. Fight for possession along the board on the far side of the ice behind the net. And the whistle blows. It looks like Sadowski was just trying to run off time here in the second period, just trying to go in the locker room. Ruff's gonna have a talk with him. 
Had a stick over the puck, no movement. And it'll just be simply a face-off in the Arlington defensive zone. Malatesta on the face-off. Winchester working that crease line. Shot blocked. Another shot. Spot Potter sacrificing the bodies on the ice to make it easier for Davies, and it worked out. Final three seconds, and there's the buzzer for the second period. At the end of the second period, Arlington still leads 2-0 over Winchester. And with that being said, We'll take a break here, and I'll see you in the third period. Hello, welcome back to the Ed Burns Arena for the final third period of the Varsity High School boys matchup between the Arlington High School Spy Ponders and the visiting Winchester High School. Arlington is entering the third period with a 2-0 lead. And we'll see if they can cap it out or if Winchester makes a miraculous comeback. They've been playing very well so far, despite the 2-0 drought. But I won't be surprised if they do put up a goal or two. But also knowing Arlington, they could also extend the lead at will. So Rafael is going to get a pass off, and now Winchester streaking down the ice with the puck. Winchester player gets knocked down. Now it's Fecto. Try to split two defenders. Sadowski to Hirsch. Pass too far. Sarapolis and Dunning back on the defense. And Tong got a shot off. Blocked by Davies. And Lowenberg lets a good past him. It's going to be an icing call on Arlington. Playoff action is set to start from a week and a half from now. And right now, Arlington High School is ranked sixth in the MIAA par rating, then Winchester is ranked 17th. Playoff schedule is going to be released on the 26th. And we've got a good chunk of hockey teams from the Middlesex League that's going to make the tournament. Gloves up by Davies. Shot by Mahoney. 1340s left in the final period. And now we're going to have a faceoff. Bellatesta on the faceoff. Elise got cut off. At least fighting for the puck, gets kicked out into the defensive zone. And that's a long range shot by Winchester. That was Daniel Collins with a shot right up the middle. Assisted by Mahoney. And they get on the board for the first time this game, cutting down the lead to one. Two one left in the third period. The Winchester crowd definitely happy about that. Let's see if I want to respond and try to extend this lead back to two. 13 minutes and 21 seconds left. Number 89 is on the ice and he is not reflected on the boys roster. Might be an add on to the team. So I do not have a name for him and I apologize that I've referred to him by his jersey number only. Might have been upgraded from JV, so congratulations, young man. His right, trying to get around the Winchester player, gets bodied away by Doherty.
O'Connor trying to get the possession, but Winchester comes out with it and gets dumped in. Actually, gets dumped out. Hits the net right in front of the Arlington Hockey Figure Skating Club banner hanging in the middle of the rink. 12 minutes and 25 seconds left in the third and final period of this game. And we will have a face-off in the Arlington defensive zone. 2-1. mistaken. It looks like they're going to be facing off in the neutral zone. Sadowski with the face off. Winchester comes out with it. Seropoulos switches it to Flynn. Flynn up to Fecto. Winchester keeping it in. Davies knocks that away. Comes out from his crease just to get that out of danger. Blocks a shot. And Winchester is pressing. And that's covered up by Davies. We're going to have a face off in the defensive zone. 11 minutes and 51 seconds left. Winchester is going to have a line change, and so is Arlington. Ball Tess is out there. with Dunning and Gilbert. Also on the ice is Elise. And Desmond. Winchester put on the speed this period. Arlington right, so struggling to get that puck on the other side of the ice. Winchester with the shot. Deflected by Davies. Another shot gets behind the net. And now here's once again Winchester pressing. Kicks it out, dumps it back in. Puck goes behind the net. Gilbert clears it, and that's going to be an icing. 10 minutes and 49 seconds left in the third period, and Winchester is still pressing the Arlington defensive zone, where, in which, where they'll face off. And this is the penultimate game of the regular season for the Five Ponders. It'll be a huge tournament booster if they come out of this with a victory. The last game of the season is on Wednesday against Malden Catholic at 6 p.m. here at the Ed Burns Arena. Eunice and Gore is out there on the ice now. Along with Wright. And it's an 89 gets by. Still got the puck off. Shot taken by Mahoney, covered up by Davies. We have nine minutes and 50 seconds, 57 seconds left in the third period, and Winchester is looking to tie this up. And so far, they've been pressuring this Arlington defense. Arlington hasn't been able to get out of this defensive zone for a while in this period. And that puck gets sent into the Arlington stands. Out of bounds. Puck is somewhat lost in the stand, but the ref got one from the scorer's desk. Face off in the neutral zone. Nine minutes and 51 seconds left in the game. Winchester comes out with that one and gets dumped in. That was Fecto. Slows it down. Down to Sadowski. And the defense caught up. Sadowski working around the middle to Hirsch. Pass too far from the stick.
Defecto to Flynn. Flynn to Sideropoulos. Sideropoulos takes a shot. Hurst trying to get a stick on it. Now Winchester pressing three on two. Well, this Defecto gets back there. Shot taken and blocked by Davies. And things are heating up here on the ice. And a Winchester player getting in a tussle with Sadowski for no good reason. No penalties there. Sadowski was on the ground and the Winchester just skated right over him, tripped over him. And then he puts him in a headlock. But no harm, no malice there. Play resumes. Eight minutes and 51 seconds left in the game. And I heard Winchester streaking. Arnton gets a stick on it, turns it over. And we'll dump it in to the Winchester zone. Malatessa's up there. Got a stick on it. At least gets his stick on it. And now he's working the crease line behind the net. And I heard that streak. Spence got in position. And a big collision of friendly fire in front of the net. Two Winchester players get knocked into each other, and then Arlington players are right there as well. And a line change for Arlington. And Winchester tries to exploit it. Gets defended beautifully. And Arlington with the pressure this this later half of the third period. Flynn still out there. Sadowski and Wright also on the ice, along with O'Connor. Here's Wright with a shot on goal and gets covered up by Lowenberg. Lowenberg, excuse me. Seven minutes and 22 seconds left in the game. Arlington still holding to a 2-1 lead. And just a reminder, ACMI Sports broadcasts are volunteer productions, and we could use your help to cover the games if you are interested, whether you're a parent or a student and would like to get involved, be part of the action, and deliver the action. Email us at sports at acmi.tv and learn how you could get involved. Sideropoulos dumps it back in. Sideropoulos just throwing it into the open zone, hoping the Arlington players would get into it. Good tactic there. And now Winchester trying to get the puck out of danger. Effecto slips, gets right back up with the puck right in front of him, takes a shot and gets covered up by Lowenberg. That puck gets covered up with six minutes and 39 seconds left in the third period and they'll face off in the Winchester defensive zone. Winchester's gonna have a line change as well as Arlington. Dunning, Gilbert, Elise, Malatesta, and I believe that's Dunning out there as well. No Jake Russell in this game. He's sitting out due to some injury. Now it's Arlington on the defense. Elise gets knocked down. Gets right back up and icing. A good size Winchester crowd here in the Ed Burns Arena. And a good student show up by AHS on the far side of the rink. Six minutes left, even in the third period. Here's a face off. Winchester comes away with it. 
Gores out there with Eunice. And that's gonna be a call going against Winchester. That's an offsides call. Or oh, nice, I'm not sure. Either way, they'll face off in the Winchester defensive zone. On the face off, gonna be Eunice. Puck made his way right into the middle, into the Winchester player, and pushing into the Arlington zone. Defended beautifully by Gilbert. Tussle for the puck alongside the boards. Behind the net. Gilbert up to Gore. Winchester gets a stick on it. Back to Gilbert behind the net. Winchester putting their bodies on these Arlington players. And they've really turned up the heat in this third period. And the goalie lets out one go, that one go, for a icing call. Five minutes and one second left in the third period. Arlington holding to a one goal lead over the visiting Winchester in this penultimate game of the regular season. Senior night is on Wednesday. And there's a good amount of seniors here on this Arlington roster. And that's a goal by Winchester to tie it up by Kevin Bertocci. They tie it up at four minutes and 54 seconds left in the game. And we're tied at two. Winchester crowd making their presence known. And I'm sad to say that I've called this earlier in the third period that this might have happened. But now let's see if Arlington can answer and probably walk away with a victory over the visiting Winchester, ranked 17th in the MIA power ratings. When you're playing hockey in the Middlesex League, power ratings in the state really doesn't matter, does it? Sadowski on the faceoff. First line back out there, I believe. Flint on defense alongside with Sideropoulos. Per Sadowski and Fecto on the ice. It's going to be an icing call. Four minutes and 39 seconds left. And since this game still remains tied at the end, we will go into overtime. Arlington has two ties on the season. One against Belmont, and I believe one was against Braintree, which was played a few days ago. Well, a test on the faceoff. Winchester definitely pushing up the pace. Speed on speed. And that was Dunning. He got cut off. Now Molotesta chasing the puck down behind the net. At least gets the puck. Trying to keep possession. Now Winchester settling in. And that's going to draw some sort of call. With three minutes and 52 seconds left to play in this game. We're gonna face off in the neutral zone. The near side of the ice. Tied at two and we are in for a nail biter. On the face off is Sadowski. Puck made his way to Defecto, who Defecto dumps it in. Hurst chasing it down. Down the crease line, gets poked away. And now Winchester streaking. Oh, it's a defense got back there. There's Flynn, gets a stick on it.
crush when Flynn is not on the ice. Battle soon for a solid possession. We're inside three minutes left in the game. Winchester came dead back from a 2-0 deficit to tie it up at two. Let's see how Arlington responds. Oh, his Elise, he slips, switches it. Switches it to Dunning. And it's a bit too far. Dunning up in the corner, he slips. Montessa gets in there. Fight for the puck. And Winchester is going to come out of it with the puck. And that puck is going to go out of bounds. Two minutes and 13 seconds left in the game. And neither team is able to get a solid holding of the puck to set up their offense. This might turn out to be an instant classic. Exactly what you get out of the Middlesex League check matchups. Sadowski on this lineup. Arlington putting up the defense. Trying to mitigate this pressure by Winchester. Sarapolis off the ice to Gilbert. Gilbert! And that was Doherty who puts the body on the ice to block that shot opportunity by Gilbert. That shot gets deflected off Gil uh, Davies's pad. His facto taking it behind the nut. Flynn back out there. Going to cut off the Winchester player. He gets a shot off, blocked by Davies. We're inside two minutes. Tied at two. This game might go into overtime. We're approaching 60 seconds left here in the game. Winchester putting on the wet pressure. Puck remains behind the net, gets it out. Winchester putting on a lot of pressure on this Arlington defense. Tries to do a wraparound. Shot not good. And off the stick of Davies. 30 seconds left of game. And that shot goes off the corner by Maxwell Tom. Into the top left corner past Davies and bounces in to take a 3 2 lead over this by Ponders. And we have 25 seconds left in the game. Davies trying to make a case that that was dislodged, but I don't think he's going to win that one. And the referee is going to give the confirmation to the scorer's table of who shot that goal. 25 seconds of life. What can Arlington do to equalize this and send it to overtime? You might have an empty net situation here. The Arlington coach is going to talk it over. That was a lucky bounce for Maxwell Tong. That goes right over the top shoulder of Davies into the pole and then back into the back of the net. Stewart in the section trying to cheer up the spy punters on the ice, getting a let's go punters chant. And now Arlington takes a timeout. With 25 seconds left of the game, Winchester holding on to a 3-2 lead 
or with the higher seated spy ponders. And while we have a break, I'd like everyone to know that the ACMI A Town Film Festival is now accepting submissions up until April 1st. All communities are welcome to send in a submission. All it takes is a cell phone to produce a short film and you might just win a grand prize out of it. The film festival will be screened at the Regent Theater sometime in late May. The exact date is still to be determined, but for contest details and submission guidelines, visit our website acmi.tv slash atown or contact our youth programs coordinator Jasper Hamilton via email at jasper at for more information. Winchester breaking the huddle. Now let's see what Arlington comes out with. Davies away from the crease of his net, up mid-ice. If Arlington wins his face off, he's gonna come off. Hockey players making some sound. Fight for possession. Davies comes out. Gets dumped in. Fecto comes in. And Winchester's gonna clear it. We're, right, we're inside 10 seconds. And that's gonna be an icing call. 5.8 seconds left in the game. They're gonna face off in the Winchester zone. <clears throat> Six players on the offense for the Spy Ponders. Fecto, Sadowski, Malatesta, Gilbert, and Flynn out there. It's Brandon Hirsch who will take the face off. Five seconds in the game. One point lead for Winchester. Tries to clear it. One second. And that's an upset victory for Winchester. Arlington takes a heartbreaking loss here at home in the penultimate regular season game. And that was quite a nail biter. And that'll do it for us here at the Ed Burns Arena. Winchester is going to win this 3-2. I'm Andy Mosmani of ACMI Sports, and we thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for our future broadcasts.